Hold on to your seats, Tokyo Revengers fans. The latest episode of season 2, titled When It Rains, It Pours, has left us all on the edge of our seats. The episode starts with a recap of the heart-wrenching scene in which Mikey dies in Takemichi's arms as Noto looks on in despair. Prompted by this tragic event, Takemichi travels back in time once again, and we find ourselves back in 2006. The episode opens with Chifuyu walking in the rain, seeing Takemichi punching a tire with all his might. Chifuyu approaches him and explains that he's training to become stronger so that he can change the future. He then drops the bombshell that everyone in his timeline is dead, and Mikey is the one who killed them. Chifuyu is shocked by this revelation but manages to crack a joke about punching a tire to prevent all of this from happening. As Takemichi continues to punch the tire, his knuckles start to bleed, and Chifuyu stops him from injuring himself further. Takemichi expresses his frustration at not being able to save everyone and laments Mikey's death. Chifuyu tells him that he's happy they get to meet again at least. The two then discuss Mikey, with Chifuyu stating that he will beat the crap out of him. He explains that no one has ever been able to challenge Mikey properly because he's on a completely different level of strength. Takemichi sees a ray of hope in this and vows never to return to the future until he becomes the leader of Tomon. The scene then shifts to Yokohama, where the leader of Yokohama Tenjiku, Izana Kuroka, meets with Kisaki Teta and Shuji Hanma. Izana asks Kisaki why he decided to join their gang, and Kisaki replies that he wants revenge. This marks the beginning of the greatest and final conflict in Tomon's history. Meanwhile, members of the Yokohama Tenjiku gang arrive in Tokyo with the goal of wiping out the entire Tokyo Manji gang. Takemichi comes up with a plan to take them all down single-handedly, but Chifuyu laughs it off and refuses to accompany him to Yokohama. This is when two members of Tomon, Yamagishi and Makoto, come to inform Chifuyu how they got beaten by guys in red high-collar uniforms. The Yokohama Tenjiku gang then arrives at the Shibuya metro station, where they come face to face with Takemichi, who is horrified to see that they have an injured Akin in their grasp. As soon as they realize Takemichi's affiliation with Tomon, they prepare to beat him as well. Fortunately, Chifuyu arrives just in time to rescue him by kicking one of the members in the face. With Chifuyu holding back the Tenjiku members, Takemichi runs away with Akin on his shoulder. He manages to beat down a few of the Tenjiku members before getting knocked out by Kanji Mochizuki, one of Yokohama Tenjiku's big four. Takemichi takes shelter in a store with others before escaping out the back door. Akin then tells him that around 300 Tenjiku members have arrived in Tokyo to pick a fight with Tomon. Takemichi instructs the others to go to Tomon's hideout while he decides to go back and save Chifuyu, who acted as a decoy for them to escape. Akin, Yamagishi, and Makoto valiantly join Takemichi in his daring mission to rescue Chifuyu, fearlessly taking on the Tenjiku gang members despite being outnumbered. Despite their best efforts, the quartet is ultimately pummeled into submission, leaving Takemichi scratching his head over the gang's connection to Tomon. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Kisaki Teta appears before Takemichi dressed in his Tenjiku red high-collar uniform. You can feel the confusion and the intensity in the air as Kisaki mocks Takemichi's inability to understand the current situation. Just when you think things couldn't get any more intense, Kisaki drops a bombshell, let the Kanto incident begin. You can practically hear the gasps from the audience as Takemichi becomes doubtful about Kisaki's awareness of the time travel concept. As the season comes to a close, Tokyo Revengers leaves us with a thrilling cliffhanger that has us all eagerly awaiting the next season. The combination of action-packed scenes and mind-boggling twists and turns has made this anime a must-watch for any fan of the genre. So, buckle up and get ready for the ride because Tokyo Revengers is not one to miss. If you already watched this episode please let me know your thoughts in comment section, and please like the video subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.